made. We finessed our way into Morton without Priest in peril, bro. Today I learned that you can do these wilderness events all on your own. And that is 800 as well, which gives us some sort of total level, which is 100. Nice. Let's open this sack of wild rewards and see what we get. Okay, we get some chins. Is that money? I mean, I don't, I think it is. Okay, that's 24k. And it, uh, it's, it's, it's not great. Let, let's put it that way. It's not great, but it's a little bit of pocket change, I guess. I definitely did not forget to unmute my mic. Anyway... I decided to get my crafting level up because one of the big goals on this account is to get invention unlocked, which requires me to get AD crafting, smithing and divination. So I started off with the horrible gems that you can actually crush, the early bird ones. And I actually was able to sell the crushed gems to a trader. So if you have any crushed gems on your account, generally go check them out and go to World 2 and just be like, I'm selling crushed gems, someone will buy it. You can also see me getting a sleigh level here from the Hero Pass lamps. I'm going to be using the Hero Pass to get these lamps because obviously daily challenges don't exist anymore. And also to kind of keep the daily stuff to a minimum and train my sleigh this way instead of doing scarab every single day because quite frankly i'm not the biggest fan of doing dailies and yeah i also traded some of my gems to kj to get some more gems because they weren't selling on the g because the g is an absolutely broken mess but dude crafting is so quick anyway back to live commentary chef no i was making all my clips with my microphone muted no i'm an absolute idiot well i don't know what post editing chef told you but we're currently at 33 crafting they're coming in a beautiful oh, i hate when that happens mate i should really change my mute button on discord or on obs from delete because it's a button you use quite a lot when you edit Ugh. there's 40 crafting already holy moly this is rapid mate it's nearly um it's nearly the hour i actually need to see what wilderness event is up because i might want to be doing it all right that's that's all the emeralds those 500 emeralds got me 42 crafting holy moly that was rapid that took like 15 minutes maybe i don't know yeah they're not worth that much money but we'll we'll get some money back of it which is beautiful mate i, I didn't even know there were so many types of watermelon names like i knew there were types but never names you can't get dark underscore from the regular sack so i don't know but there's 20 20 20 20 divination from the wilderness event we also get another sack of very wild rewards which this is a reward we got yesterday that's like yeah that's 373k that's beautiful let's quickly sell that and then go back to train the crafting there's 50 crafting coming in bro this is insane i still have quite a lot of gems left over like 400 i think we get like 52 crafting then we're just gonna switch over to do something else but crafting is definitely very quick all right all those gems got us 53 crafting we actually need two more levels before i'm actually happy with it because at 55 we will unlock dragon stones which will be the best trading method period it's like 550k an hour or something stupid at portable so on double experience it's like a million xp an hour so that would literally take you about 13 hours to get 99 but we're quickly making our way over to draenor to pick up our silverhawk boost at diango actually hold on wait how how do you get silverhawk books again wait where do you see them on consumable am i that blind i don't see them anywhere oh right there sorry i didn't see them my bad all right i forgot that you could claim them at the consumables page um i'm gonna buy some silverhawks because if you put silverhawk feathers in it it will afk train agility which is so much better than actually training agility so let's get some silverhawks in it whilst we craft a little bit more gems Bro, the lag here is ridiculous. Look at sell for a minute. All right, we sold them for profit. We now have 1.5 mil. So let's buy another, like, 200, like, 200 emeralds or something. Oh, wait, actually, we could do rubies. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do 200 rubies. And then craft those and then get our levels from there. All right, yeah, those rubies weren't enough. I got 54, but I need 55. So I actually had an idea. I saw that I could make bomb vials out of molten glass. And if you remember from our shop run, Bomb files are about 2k, and I believe the molten glass are like 300 GP each. But we could just buy molten glass and sell the bomb files. Pretty sure we can make a buttload of money doing so. So I'm actually going to be testing that real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot that the granite change doesn't work on this game, so you can't really buy anything. Ha! <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so that, that strategy is not going to work at all. Um, excuse me, Wind, what the hell are you doing? All right, there's level 55, and that is uncut dragon stones, or dragon stones in general. Which is beautiful that unlocks the best crafting method in the game for us. At least that is available to us. So let's just collect these, sell them again. 
And then we're gonna go over to whatever's next, whichever I feel like. I'm not sure yet. Nah, dude. Dude, can you imagine, like, him on, like, the big screen, right? Like, he's just, like, you know, leaned in front of it. So she couldn't really see what's going on. And then she's like, oh, KJ, you're gonna put in some romantic music. And KJ's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Not really listening. And then just locks into Rune's game. We were like, ready to go, love. <laughs> All right, these headless arrows were actually supposed to get me level 25, but instead it gave me level 26 because we did that a portable Fletcher. So that's actually beautiful. Uh, I'm probably going to keep these and tip them and get some more experience because we have some money and I think we'll still make... I don't want to say we're not going to make profit, but we're going to make a little bit of money back. So that's nice. And no one is buying those. Is anyone buying steel arrowhead? Just out of curiosity. No. Okay, scrap that idea. No one is selling them. So we're just selling the headless arrows. Will they sell for mid? They will not. But they, it will be profit, by the way, which is quite nice. It's not It's not that big amount of profit. Uh, There we go. So we go to sales history. We got 470k, 407k for it. And we spend about uh 280k for it. So that's a nice little profit right there. It's not... It's incredible experience at the start, but obviously it falls off like really, really quickly. But yeah, the stats are looking quite fine. Let's work on something else now, which I'm not sure what yet. Actually, I might not. Are you guys sure that this is what I'm supposed to be doing to level 17? Because this sounds depressing. Good farming to do beehives. Yeah, but I can't do beehives yet because I'm level one, mate. But no less, mate. We are level two. Does it scale up? Absolutely not. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's claim some stuff on the stupid hero pass. We can claim that. We can claim that. We can claim that. I think here that we can claim. No. However, we might be able to claim some stuff here on like the actual stuff. Claim all. All right. Claim. Nice. Cool. Oh, I thought I would get some um, some XP lamp, but clearly not. Fair. There's a farming level as well. Level 7 farming coming in, which is really nice. And we get three sacks this time. Uh, let's just woodcut, which will also get some nice woodcutting experience. And then we get some fire making experience as well at the end. I get a third sack and a very wild one, which can give us a dark onyx core. If we're really lucky, there's like a couple hundred mil, but that probably won't happen because it's too rare. All right, there's also level 17 woodcutting coming in. Very, very good. These events are decent experience and they're obviously insane money as well. The core, by the way, is currently sitting at about 770 mil, which is not, we are not going to get it. But even if we get some alka balls and we can make like 1.5 mil, it'll be nice for some skilling. And then we're going to do some testing and experimenting. All right, there's a level 10 farmer. Oh, 10 farming? 10 fire make coming in and we got four holy moly bro please don't uh we got four sacks uh normal wild rewards okay that's pretty decent uh obelisk shards are they worth anything no they're barely worth anything then we got chins okay and now the big boy we're gonna get something good um okay we got 244k flat out cash and overall everything is worth another 600k so that brings us to like one 2.5 mil which is quite nice now let's do some experiment don't eat a lot since food is yeah yeah i know i figured i completely forgot about how food was constitution based so a catfish which i think normally heals like 1750 hp now only heals 250 experience because of my constitution level very interesting stuff but yeah let's try some stuff let's see if we can break into cannabis this this feels this feels wrong man this feels so wrong so do i now just wait here is this exactly what i'll be doing well I guess this will be my future to be able to enter cannabis on a level three skiller we just have to wait till the poison and my recoil takes out this ghoul nice oh he's nearly gone mate we nearly beat him this is definitely like okay i understand why people like skillers this feels like such a weird achievement to get i'm level three in cannabis bro that's not supposed to happen or is it four now no it's still level three because of necromancy nice well let's activate the cannabis lodestone and uh there's actually a sure reason why i wanted to go here and uh i soon will show you why there we go just build and don't pray okay can i skip this cutscene yeah i can okay so don't pray there but that did give me some construction stuff. this is actually not even the reason why i went here by the way but that's three construction i guess okay so so to be able to do what I wanted to do, we need to pre in peril, which we'll do at some later time because right now it's just it's just not the time just yet. But it would be an agility training method, as I mentioned earlier in the video. But if you didn't remember, well, that's it. So now we're just going to try and train another skill and I'm going to figure out which one it is. Uh, so I could unlock an agility training method by going here. Where is it? here this is the best agility training method for me right now you can you can kill things even if you're level three look at that sexy beast over there all right this will be the start of me kind of feeding this account i'm not gonna fully feed it as in oh i'm just going to be giving it everything that it needs to train but things like silver hawks for example i will definitely just give to my killer because i feel like that's something i don't know i just i'm gonna play this as an all so 
All right, let's see if this actually, if this works, that will be not. Complete group, teleport all members. <laughs> Mate, we finessed our way <laughs> into Morton without Priest in Peril, bro. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Dude, thank you, Mr. Dickside, man. Holy moly. Yo, we got in here without Priest in Peril, dude. That is insane. Look, just... I know you guys believe... I don't have food on me now, do I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold up. Yes. Priest in Peril's not even started. Dude, thank you so much for that, man. Mate, just give me Bruce. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. Shout out to Mr. Dickside, man. Need anything else? No, I think I'm good. Thank you very much, man. Let's get some agility level, dude. I want to do some nutty stuff, though, at some point. If I actually stick to an account like this, I want to do some nutty, nutty stuff, man. Anyway, if you've ever seen Sobletics, you know that this is a training method. However, did you know you can never fail it on RuneScape 3 and you get 15 XP every single time? So pretty much, you just keep your mouse here and you just click until you're level 25 and then you go to Anachronia. Honestly, nuts XP for what it is i guess you could just spam click as well yep there we go there's already level six well i will see you guys back when i'm 25 let's get this level oh. <clears throat> let's get this level okay let's get this level question mark all right there it is level 25 and it should show werewolf cobalt no 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 uh i'm pretty sure that this should unlock the first part of the anachronia agility course question mark uh hold up all right this should be the last jump because i was an idiot and thought it was 25 but it's actually level 30 there it is and now it should pop up with the anachronia course correct agility oh yeah i can do the agility pyramid as well but that is quite nice but yeah we can also do the first part of the anachronia course which is beautiful and uh yeah we never have to come back to the forsaken bridge ever again